That is shocking though. I want to chuck my phone, I'm so angry. Welcome back to the final episode of this mini karting series here at Team Sport Reading. Today, we're going to be finding out how valuable your excuses are to your friends about the fact you're heavier and therefore naturally slower. How much time do you actually lose? Myself and Jack Aitken, F2 driver and F1 test driver, are going to be finding out all the details. How much time do you lose? Do you lose anything? Let's find out. So, hey guys, I'm back. Um, Matty's out on track now, getting his first few uh, laps of his benchmark running. So obviously no, no added weight, just his uh, formidable muscular strength uh, holding him back. Generally in the world of Formula One, where obviously you're traveling at quite a higher speed, um, every 10 kilos you're gonna lose about three tenths. So I probably would be expecting for 20 kilos added to me about six tenths or around half a second. I think I saw a, a look of pure disgust in Matty's eyes then. I'm still not quicker. I was gutted, I had my, my new timing system ready. <laughs> you were quite, quite consistent at the end there, just around 57.6, so I thought that's a good place to yeah, start yeah. if we're consistent. Stop that, yeah. I was like, that was a good lap, five. F <laughs> <laughs> right, Jack, I've had my go now. It's now up to you to set your best lap time possible without the additional weight. Are you ready? I, I am ready. You, you seem ready. <laughs> go, go, go get him, son. Jack is currently out on track, setting his benchmark lap time without the weight. My prediction for what it will be when he puts on the 20 kilograms, I reckon it will be give or take a second. I'm hoping it will be give or take a second. It will make my skills look a lot less bad if, uh, if it does put at least a second on, but I don't know, maybe I'm just being a little bit hopeful. Eight tenths, we'll go with eight tenths. Currently, I'm less than a second slower than an F1 test driver. Haha, <laughs> you're rubbish! Rubbish! Boo! I'm great. He is finishing his final lap. Is he going to improve? I think he might. I believe in Jack Aitken. It is a 56.569. The best lap time he has done in his baseline benchmark times is a 56.542. The end. How well, much do you weigh as a package? What as a package, I weigh probably with this about 62 kilograms. 62 kilograms, okay. Yeah. The package of my helmet, I'm probably about 90. So um, I reckon 28 kilograms. I am hoping to God, Jack, you do not know how much I'm hoping that the difference in like, putting 20 kilograms in there puts on a second. That is my dream. If that is the case, then I am officially getting signed up as an F2 driver. Let's just wait and see. <laughs> Definitely not, but let's go find out. Okay, Jack, we now have the task of putting weight on the cart in a manner that is ankle weight slash foot weight slash hand weights, but obviously we want yes. to keep it as central as possible. So actually this is a good chance to discuss the uh, setup of the cart. How, how do you feel about the weight distribution currently? I feel like I could use less. I feel like I less, need less, less weight. weight <laughs> Just... <laughs> All right. Well, probably the easy, we want to keep it as central as possible to keep the results yeah. fairly uh, sensible, uh, so that it's possible. basically simulating a bigger person. Maybe one between your legs. Cheeky. Yes. Steady on. Take me for dinner first. Cool. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be as comfortable as it was 
previously. Yeah. Oh gosh, that looks oh, perfect. That feels like when I go over a bump, there could be some injuries. <laughs> but hey ho, do everything for WTF1, don't I? Huh? You're committed yeah. to the cause, yeah. Committed to finding out if me now being 110 kilograms worth of weight in here can even get up the hill, right? Yes. That's going to be the challenge. <laughs> can this cart even move? And you're probably going to go down the hill and straight into <laughs> the next industrial estate. So. I'm going to be going about 80 miles an hour yeah. coming down that hill. But I think, we, I think we've got it. I think we've nailed it. Let's, let's prepare the cart and get out on track. Okay. Here we go, 20 kilograms on board. And uh, not the most comfortable of rides, I won't, I won't lie to you. So, uh, Matt is out for his first run with the extra 20 kilos, plus a bit of gaffer tape. And um, we're gonna see how that affects it. Usually, when you add weight to a cart, particularly one like this, where it's quite, uh, there's not a lot of power going on, you're gonna really struggle to get uh, the acceleration, obviously, but also slowing the cart down, getting it turned in. Everything becomes that little bit more difficult. So he's probably gonna be sliding around a lot more, scrubbing off speed. And these ramps, which he's about to go up now, he's gonna really struggle on them as well. First feelings, obviously it feels a little bit more sluggish. Not so responsive. Oh, that's not good. Need to keep the revs up, especially when you're weighing pretty much 110 kilograms. I reckon he'll, he'll probably be able to find a little bit of time just by adapting his driving and getting used to that extra weight. So I'm going to say for him, eight tenths. Yeah, I'm not enjoying it as much with a, an extra 20 kilograms as you would imagine would be the case. You want to be as light as possible so the car is really responsive. Because for me, I really, really, really want to do a representative lap time so that we can really see how, how much weight really does impact. Every time I go karting with my mates, it's always the first issues. Jack, you're the 10 kilos lighter than all of us, so of course you're quicker than us. But uh, we are here doing work to put those myths to rest and uh, hopefully clear my good name. I mean, in, F in F2, we all have to be on the same way anyway, so I feel like that should be <laughs> proof enough. Okay, that wasn't too bad. It doesn't feel bad through the corners, but just some of them just feels a little bit, a little bit slow. I think it genuinely is, yeah, it just sounds a bit like it's in lower revs because it's struggling just that little bit more to get out of the corners. And we're done. I'm being called in by Mr. Aitken. If there's ever anyone we want to test this particular experiment, it will be the man that's currently underneath us on tier three, Jack Aitken. He is an F1 test driver. He is consistent, consistently very good as well. So whatever results we get from this, it will be strictly true as to what is the weight adding to his lap times. Me, on the other hand, I'm a little bit less consistent. I say a little, a lot less consistent, but I feel like weight, Jack may have mentioned this before, but I feel like weight definitely makes you slow in a straight line, as you know, but also keeps you a little bit more planted through the higher speed corners, gives you a bit more downforce, a bit more plantedness. That's not a word, but I'm gonna add that one in anyway, uh, through those high speed corners. And yeah, I don't know, I feel like, because of the ramps especially, I feel like there's a couple of tenths lost there anyway, but maybe you gain it around the rest of the lap. We're gonna find out very soon from Mr. Jack Aiken. Okay, so I'm currently in the most uncomfortable driving position I've ever been in. Come on, I'm gonna cheer on Jack Aiken. Here we go. Come on, Jack, come on. Okay, so there's actually a fair bit of grip going on there. It's quite interesting. That high speed corner there felt pretty good. These low speed corners, the front is definitely harder to get in. But that's not such a bad thing when you've got the rear to play around with on the brakes and throttle like we were talking about in the last episode. He had a very bad last lap. What's he doing? Come on. I said you were consistent. Consistently terrible. 
not as sluggish as I was ex as I was expecting. Up the hills, definitely, you can hear the engine tone is just dropping a bit, a bit more. But um, yeah, that's really really struggling up that hill. But you feel like the grip is actually pretty darn good, which is surprising. That's not what we thought would happen. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see the end results. I'm not sure how many laps I've got left now. I don't think it'll be a lot, but found a bit of a good rhythm with this extra weight now. The car is definitely behaving differently to when it was lighter, but um, definitely not, not all bad characteristics. It's picked up a bit of stability in general, a bit more understeer and push from the front. So it's just helping in some of the places where previously you were just fighting to get that rear under control. Here we go, Jack Aiken finishing his last lap of the session. Okay, the results are in. Should we get Jack in? I think so. Let's go call him in. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Jack Aiken. The results no, not a boy or a girl. are in. Can I get some? Thank you. My benchmark time was a 57.608 without the weight. With the weight, 20 kilograms added, my time was a 57.684. Yeah. You. Eight hundredths. You only went to 10, sorry, Matty. What's going huh? on? What's going okay. on? Okay, all right, but I'm inconsistent. I am an average Joe. I'm terrible, basically. You probably just drove faster, didn't you? Like, that's yeah, I just drove better. The weight just was, had no implication to my car. Anyway, you, this is the big one now. Jack Aitken, your benchmark time was a 56.542. Indeed. Your initial prediction was six, six tenths. Six to seven tenths, yeah. Six, seven tenths. The results, 20 kilograms added to your car. Your time was a 56. 0.774. Okay, okay. Which is a difference of just over two tenths. Two tenths. Two tenths. That's not a lot. I want to chuck Did my phone. I'm so angry. I'm so unbelievably angry. I was hoping it'd be at least a second. That two tenths. It's very surprising for me. But actually, when I was driving around, I did straight away, I was like, that's not as bad as I thought it would be. Something about, I don't know if it's uh, because we had most of the weight a bit lower down as well. Uh, compared to if you're just a, a bigger person. But um, the handling of the cart was was pretty good. Um, so we didn't lose that much time in the corners. I think we only really lost time on the acceleration and going yeah. up these, these massive ramps. So I thought the ramps would take a couple of tenths off each, you know, but yeah. clearly, as you kind of mentioned before, about the, you have more grip a little bit in, in the corners, would you say, with, the, with more weight? Maybe, and uh, just balancing out some of the, the oversteer that you've got in that car, I felt like it was a bit, bit better, actually, that time, which yeah. is weird. The world of karting is slightly different. Yeah. Who would have known? Two tenths for him and less than a tenth for me. I now have no excuse when I lose at karting. And that's the worst thing I have ever heard. Right, thank you so much, Jack, for taking part in this karting Please series. Time. It has been My a pleasure. pleasure having you. And maybe we'll do another one. Maybe we'll build a kart one day or something. That would be good fun. But let us know in the comment section below what you would like to see, if there's another karting series or something similar that you would like to see on the WTF1 channel. And until then, I'm Matt, he's Jack with WTF1. We'll see you soon. Two tenths. Two. I give up.